limousines turn heads and stop traffic. They chauffeur the rich and famous and leave us all guessing about the mysterious faces behind the tinted glass. From the long and the longest to the haunted and the historic and the ultimate road warrior, a rocket ship on wheels. In the next hour, we'll roll down the one-way window and put you in the luxury seat. Let the good times roll as we hit the road with Limos Unlimited. Our next limo ride gives new meaning to the phrase, pedal to the metal. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. We're headed to Orlando, Florida, and here's a tip. You may want to bring along some earplugs. Think of it as a rocket ship on wheels. A limousine that travels from here to there in a blink. Jim Jet Nielsen travels America, showing off his homemade limo. Today, he'll blast his way across Orlando Speedway Dragway to the delight of thousands of cheering fans. Yes, nice drag racing here in Central Florida, folks. Uh, we've seen some great action so far. Of course, uh, coming up later on tonight, we'll have the machines that make the Night of Fire famous right here. Jim Jet Nielsen's here with the one and only Jet Limo. will be entertaining you. Not much room to stretch out in this stretch. Jet's limo only holds 19. 19 inches, that is. Believe me, you're tight in here. This is about 19 inches wide, and if you look at me, I'm a little wider than that. But somehow I get in here. What he lacks in space, he makes up for in speed. His limo moves at the speed of flight. Call the zero to 100 in about a second. limousine service in Newport Beach, California, and I had a jet dragster, and I thought, I think that'll literally look neat putting a jet engine in that, so I put a Navy fighter in, engine in it, 18,000 horsepower, it's a J-34 Westinghouse, and it's out of a Navy fighter, and then you, you throw away the plane and glue four wheels on it, and this is how we came up with it. Add in a Mercedes molded body, and these days, Jim is part limo man and part rocket man. I call this uh, my space shuttle going sideways. Actually, this has more horsepower, pound for pound, than the space shuttle. Unfortunately, it turns out, the world's fastest limo may also have the world's worst gas mileage. 120 gallons to the mile. It costs you grand to go to the store, and that's one way. Jet has lived to tell his tale more than 4,000 times, but he knows this sport is risky business. One mistake can cost you your life. Sometimes you're only allowed one. Every fold has got to be perfect. Jet's prep begins the day before. Daisy you can get all this in here, huh? We're not done yet. He takes extra care packing his parachute. You don't let your ex-wife or your ex-girlfriend do it. You see how important that is when it comes out, it's got to scream out just perfect. You have an emergency parachute, and you have about two seconds to hit it. And if you don't, you're going to be in another zip code. Want to get a picture for this young man in a pin, please? The kids always come over. The first thing they want to know is, wow, you know, how fast does it go? What's the fastest you I ran 391 miles an hour for the new world record. I did it on the Las Vegas freeway, and I ran 1,800 feet. And now it's showtime, a limo ride you just have to see and hear to believe. I've been black and blue after a, a three-day weekend running six runs. It, it beats you up. I'm, not, I'm, a, you know, I'm only 18 and I look older, but it's, it's tearing me up, I'm telling you. 